Hey YouTube and welcome back to Tell Samira. So today I'm going to talk about should your friends support you, yes or no. But before I get into that, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all my subscribers. I made it over 200 subscribers as of last week, so thank you. I'm very appreciative of you hanging out with me. Uh, thank you to those that have not subscribed. If you're not, if you've not subscribed, why not? Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, thank you all for the viewers, uh, everybody who's commented and shared my videos. Uh, I truly appreciate you. So thank you for those, even when the time when I hadn't made videos in a while, people uh, reached out to me and encouraged me and gave me uh, feedback and told me suggestions on videos. So thank you. And yeah, I, I love you all. I appreciate it. Okay. So now into, into this video here. So I'm confused about this because I don't know at one point I was really so about hey yo if your friend is not a friend if, if they don't support you your family is not rocking with you if they don't support you uh because I once had a, a clothing business I was um just buying a bunch of clothes and selling them online and the people I was going to um this religious organization with they were very cool and very supportive and they kept buying from me however the business failed just because I wasn't doing well as far as marketing and getting other people to pay for it, you know, I was finding places online, but people wanted to almost pay near pennies for clothes and that was really not doing good for me. So I had to shut that down and go a whole different direction. But the thing was, there was some resentment there because I didn't feel like people were um, supporting me. And I, uh, some of these people I had supported myself with their own business, or if I would just think of them every now and again, I would just send them a gift, you know? So I'm thinking, wow, this is my time finally doing something. And I don't see that people are there for me and I really was angry about that and it took me a while to get over that and then especially dealing with the failure of the business I was just like yeah well if people have supported me like I support them then my business would still be, you know, still working and I could be um, an entrepreneur and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, is that I think when you have those feelings, it just brings about a bunch of resentment. Now, true enough, I am that kind of, I'm that kind of friend that if my friend is selling something, I'm all there. I'm buying. I may buy just more. I may buy more than one and give it to other people. I'm sharing on social media. I, hey, this is my friend. This is what's going on. Do, 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 do. If I find other people who may need their service, like at work or wherever I go, oh, let me give you my friend's business card. I would ask for business cards and all kind of stuff because that's just who I am. I'm going all out. I'm excited for my friend. But where I made the mistake is, is I expected that same excitement for when I was doing stuff and that was not there. Does that mean that this person was not my friend? Mm, you know, no, I don't think so. Why the lack of excitement when I, you know, I, I don't know. So, you know, leave your comments and tell me what you think about that. But I just found it to be like this, is that what I'm doing now is I'm mirroring, mirroring what other people do with me. Meaning that if someone is supportive of me, I try to be supportive of them. Now, I don't always like it to be that, um, you do this, I do that, you do this, but I am, you know, I, I do it, but I don't want to be neurotic about that. And what I mean by that is I don't want to just always wait for somebody to, to show me support before I show them support. Meaning, so if they have something I really want, then I'll go ahead and get it. You know, if this person hasn't supported me, but if it's someone who supported me, I may even just get it. Even if I don't really, you know, don't even really want it. That's just how I am. But not everybody is like that. You know, like I said, you, you, if you're dependent on people to treat you, how you treat them, you're just setting yourself up for a bunch of resentment and a bunch of heartache, you know, so get ready to lose a lot of friends, <laughs> get ready to lose a lot of uh, family members and acquaintances. If that's your thoughts. So I, so my suggestion is, is just, hey, if they're supporting you, support them. Even if they're not, if they got something you want and you just really want it, just go ahead and do it and don't even worry about it. Because I'm going to tell you this, even though my clothing business failed and I was thinking, oh, family and friends don't support me, I was wrong. And now let me tell sit, sit tight. I'm going to tell you why I was wrong. Because now I got my book. If you haven't gotten it, this is I Should Have Worn a Curtain, A Tale of Bulimia, Self-Loathing, and Romance by Samira Alexander. You can find the link below in the description. And it's also on Amazon. Thank you. So that was my plug. But anyway, I brought my book up just to say that some people who didn't buy from me with my clothes bought for me my book, family members, 
friends, people on Facebook who I hadn't seen in since high school. You know, people would take pictures of the book or them holding the book and send it to me. And I'm like, oh my God, you know? And I really felt excited because I was like, wow, these people this time around, I mean, really people are showing me mad love with my book, you know, sharing my posts and everything like that. And I feel so blessed. But see, the thing is, is maybe everybody didn't like my clothes. Maybe that's not what they were into, you know? I didn't have a lot of different outfits. I had a few, I had some to choose from, but everybody don't like the same type of clothes. That's one thing. So I think it's unfair for me to say that, hey, just because it's me and just because they, they know me and our family and friends that they should buy my clothes. A lot of them were me. And so, of course, I can't just expect them to just go and make their girlfriends buy my clothes, you know. And so, and even the women, maybe they couldn't fit the clothes, you know. It's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And some people are picky about the, the, um, the money they spent for clothes my clothes they weren't expensive but they weren't really cheap as you could have get got them somewhere else so how am I gonna expect people to pay more with my for my clothes just because it's me when they can get a better deal somewhere else it's not like these people are rich and I know you may be thinking, oh, well, if they love you, they'll pay that extra 10, 15. But then the thing is, is that so what you, they going to pay that extra 10, 15, 20, 25 for everybody that they know who's selling something? No, a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck. So I couldn't expect that. So the thing is, and you don't know people, may, I don't, I mean, not you, I don't know. People may get their clothes from the Goodwill and they didn't want to spend that money on the clothes I had. But the thing is, even with my book. I, I came out with a whole different approach because I didn't want to get um, swallowed up into where I started feeling defeated or feeling upset with people. No, 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 because time is just too short. So even with my book, I was not expecting people to, um, you know, just automatically support me. Some people don't read. Some people don't know how to read. Okay. So, uh, quiet as it's kept. Some people don't know how to read. All right. And then just because I'm selling a book, it's women's fiction. It's a short story. Uh, that don't mean that everybody like a short story. Everybody don't like women's fiction. You know, um, I don't sell, um, urban in mine is not urban fiction. It's more with mental health, you know, dealing with eating disorders and trauma. Trauma. Not everybody wants to read that that kind of stuff, you know. So we gotta, you gotta try to step back and see: Am I offering a product that every that everyone wants? And the answer, is, sweetie and um, sir, because I know I got a few men now. Um, that everybody does not want what you have, just like you don't want to buy everything everybody else has, you know. That's the beauty of living in a, cap in a capitalistic system. We got so much abundance and so much to choose from. So with that in mind, knowing that you, 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 everybody is not your customer. All the people I have on Facebook, all the people I have on Instagram, and even here, I can't expect you all to be my customers of my book or of my counseling services that I offer because that may not be for you. The thing is, is when you're selling something, you have to be able to find your customer. Customers, you know, and just because you want someone to be your customer does not mean that they are your customer. You have to find who is your customer, and that takes some time of targeting your audience. So don't be so mad at your friends and everybody. And I say so mad because you, like I said, this is a I don't know. It's a confusing situation because I do see like this. If I got a friend and no, let's say you got three, five different things, different ventures you started and this friend never supports you. I would be side eyeing that person like you will never support. OK, you didn't want the book. OK, you didn't want the clothes. OK, you didn't want the shade, but OK, you didn't want the makeup. OK, you didn't want the cologne. But now I got something that you don't never want nothing. You know, you don't share nothing. You know, I got some people. I won't say no names, but I, I know this, like, they won't even tell me congratulations on the book. Now, I have posted tons and tons of pictures about my book, so people seen it. You know, won't like it, won't comment, but you you know, they act like they don't see it, but then had a nerve, they starting to do something, and they, you know, and then they, they, they asking everybody for, oh, would you do this, and I'm doing this, and I'm thinking, well, I don't care that you doing it, because you ain't care when I did nothing, not a thank you, not a nothing, neither time I had a business, but see, that's why I said it get confusing for me, because sometimes I'm over here with it, and sometimes I'm over there, sometimes I find balance, and yeah, I don't know what you, what you got to say about the whole thing, okay, tell me in the comments, Anyway, 
And tell me your experience. I love to hear it. And so, but also, because like I say, I don't like this channel just to be about what others are doing to us. I like us to do some introspection over on this channel here. So I say all that to say is that what type of friend are you? Do you, if you want people to support your ventures, are you supportive of them? If your friend has a child that has a birthday, do you go over? Do you give a gift? Or if you're not there, do you send a birthday card or do you send a, um, a gift card if you're able? And if they invite you and ask you to bring chicken or a potato salad, do you bring the amount they ask you or do you just bring enough for you and your family? Are you the type of person they invite you over for some holiday and you come over there and you don't bring nothing but you packing up all types of paper plates and um, putting foil all over everything, taking stuff out the door? If you that type of person, you can't expect them to show up for you because they figure out your trifling self, you know? I ain't showing up for them. So why should they be showing up for you? Are you that person people invite you to the graduation and you don't show? Are you that person that's always last minute canceling on people and don't give people a firm answer if you showing up or not? You know, I say all that to say, because I, I, I've been some of those things before, so I'm not just talking about you. I've been trifling too. Okay, so listen. Anywho, so... You know, if you're not showing up in a great way for other people, you can't expect them to show up like that for you. You know, are you 30 minutes, 40 minutes late to every event just thinking that you guys give to your friends and just got people waiting around and sitting, on, just waiting on you? Who, what type of friend are you? So I say, take a look at those, at those, type, so those type of things. One last thing before I go. You know, I had this one, I had a one um, friend of, of, of old time ago. Um, when I was selling the clothes, I really wanted this person to buy from me. And of course, now looking back on it, I was putting too much pressure on the person. You know, I had sent them a bunch of pictures of the stuff I was selling. And I'm like, oh, pick something. What do you like? What do you like? Because when this person, even when I had moved back, first moved back to um, L.A., um, I was, you know, at, um, a, the um, one of the narcissist friends. At the time, I was calling a, a cousin because we share a, a cousin. So the narcissist friend slash cousin. I was staying with her because I had just gotten a job in LA. You know what I'm saying? Had this little mattress on the floor, y'all. I ain't embarrassed. I'm going to tell you. I had the little mattress on the floor because I was staying there short term to get my money and to get my own apartment because I had just gotten a job to get back to LA and I couldn't stand Sacramento needs to get out of there. So, anywho, the, this other friend who knew that I was sleeping on this little mattress on the floor tells me that they got something going on, some kind of um, race or something. They're traveling, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, ask me to sponsor it. I didn't send much money because I was trying to save up to move. But it was like 25 or whatever. But I still was thinking, dude, you know I'm sleeping on somebody floor and just moving. You asking me to sponsor you on some little little trip or whatever it is you're doing, but I did it. You know, this person would ask me to read their poetry, um, would ask me to read their book and review it and all that. You end up, you know, um, giving somebody my phone number. This was when I was real young in, in psychology because I don't do play this mess no more. Giving somebody my phone number who end up calling me and wanting to know what they should do about this and this. And basically it was free therapy. And this person did this for a while. But then also when I called the person back because I wanted to ask this person something to talk to that person and they started ignoring me after they got their free therapy. And I had reviewed their book like two or three times, giving them information and feedback about their book. I ain't stupid like that no more. So anywho, but yeah, so I figured all this stuff that I had done for this person, as soon as I started selling something that was going to help me, but that wasn't the case. So then I finally asked the person, is you ever going to support me? You know, which, which wasn't right. I was talking about my clothes. <laughs> anywho. And they were like, yeah, I support my friends. I was like, oh, okay, because I'm wondering. But anywho, this same person, um, their friend had a book online at the time. Um, but it was, a, yeah, an old book. But anyway, and I saw her, she had left a comment, you know, this glowing comment about her friend. She was she had shared stuff on Facebook. Oh, my friend, my best friend, blah, 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 blah. But when I tell you, when I had my clothing business, she ain't shared not one post, okay? And, you know, I was just like, oh, my God. Then she told me about my clothes, um, some boutique when she had come here to visit I took her to she told me maybe you should get clothes like that person in their boutique you know and then I had told her that I um I wasn't worried about people um celebrating me and sharing me anymore because this guy that I knew told me that women are very jealous and competitive so don't worry about it they don't support you because probably they jealous because they ain't doing what you doing and you know they feel that maybe you're getting ahead of them um in your career so 
by this time, she had only been, anytime I would say something to her, it was always LOL. She had been doing that for like a year. No matter what I said, it was LOL. One time it was something not even funny. That's how I knew she wasn't even really responding. But as soon as I had met, texted her what this guy said, and I don't remember, yeah, I texted her that. All of a sudden, she texted me a book. Well, why would anybody be jealous of you? And blah, 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 and going on. I was like, well, that's what he said about women in general. So, you know, you'd have to ask him but anywho but it it, it it can just be very crazy so what I say is do what you feel best doing if you feel that you should support a friend or a family that's not you you want to you want the product then do it if you feel some type of way about it I see like this follow your gut don't let anybody else tell you what's best for you because in the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you and you know how you feel about doing that. Also, be careful. You know, like I say right now, um, even with my book, you know, I did some some swap swapping with people like I bought some of their stuff they bought some of mine and I noticed with me I'm very gung-ho about stuff like I if I get something for you and you a small business or whatever just like I'm promoting this now you see I'm like this I bought this this guy online on um on uh what is it Instagram Air Theodian but yes yeah, beautiful um my set <laughs> yes honey it's pretty but anyway I'm the type of person, you a small business, you my family, my friend, I'm going to take pictures, I'm going to shout it out on Instagram, Twitter, whatever like this, woohoo, check this person, and I'm sharing it and doing all this, but everybody ain't like that, so I know now to match people, you know, when I swap stuff with people now, it's like, okay, you bought my book, and then I want to support you, I'll buy this, and I leave, you know, I'm trying to leave it at that, because everybody not doing that, I notice I'm taking tons of pictures and stuff and sending it, woohoo, and I'm not getting that same energy back, not that it's something Something wrong with that but it's just saying that I don't want to be that type of person that's always doing extra for people it we all want to feel like we're appreciated and somebody's going extra for us and that's for me I need to figure out what that is about maybe I need to be married honey I think that's what it is to find somebody who go extra and go hard for me like I go for them you know that's that's just what I want and I have not found that in friendship you know um I've not found that in family have you found it and 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 I'm just saying because trust me my, my book my family is showing up and showing out for me not the narcissist I don't want to confuse anything I want to say my um my younger sister, though, has been very supportive. I've told you about her before. And she actually subscribed to my channel, but that's weird. But anywho, um, <laughs> um, she has gone over and above. When I say um, my book covers, I was trying to figure out what covers I wanted. She gave honest feedback, and she just really did her thing just really did her thing I had family show up for me who I didn't think would show up and so friends so they did it but like I said not all the time they're going to do it so just focus on who brings you joy who helps you who supports you and go for that don't worry about those who don't support you it's going to cause you heartache and once you go off on Facebook they're going to say you crazy because you probably going to look crazy I've been there before they will think you crazy so just focus on who focusing on you find your audience whatever that is and it may not take Take, um, it may not be instantaneous, but you will eventually find them again. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to get the book information down in the subscription. Um, I mean, the description. Thank you again, subscribers. Woo, we made it over 200. I'm so thankful, and over 4,000, I think over 5,000 views so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.